media. Yes, man. That's how it's been taking quite a few L's over the past couple of weeks. First it was... Then it was... Then it was... And now this. What the hell is going on in the dance hall? Me love Jamaica and me love dance hall. But more time, me just want to pack a big bag, stuff it with clothes, and draw the 217 dollars in my bank account, book a flight, and fly go straight at Ochi. Non stop, three at Ochi me a fly go. Vax Cartel is right, there is a fever in dance hall. A mad fever. And it is causing the male dancers to do sh. like this. RDX will have to go take the blame for that one. Yeah. Ever since we started daggering, ever since we started the daggering thing, dancing with women took a hard L turn to the left for the worse it reached a point where there's not even a name for it anymore they call it bladaf bladaf is an onomatopoeia one time you could have said oh you're bubble you're wine with a girl ha bladaf bladaf in name b-l-a-h dash d-a-f-f bladaf you know what they call it bladaf god that's how the sound it make when the girl them head a lick up in her wall and them a get conk and thump and bucket over her head and Rated there I get to my blame too Cause I use a bladder Every time I see one of these videos I start look for Russell Crowe Because this is a gladiator match It's not dancing anymore It is a gladiator match between the fierce and the foolish And women who know I lose ah! After a regular party After you done dance with a girl the regular way Normal way you wind pan them up on them And the morning after Them place ya Zip up in your tie Right up inside your tie now It'll kill you after them kind of gladiator match here where you going in that dance hall How do you wake up the next morning? Like how do body feel the next morning? How is it possible for you to walk out of bed just normal? And later on that night you do the same thing again And the night after that you do it again And the next night again Because dance hall there is a party for every day of the week in a dance hall And you do that 7 days a week I want to make out of and you know what's messed up? Watching these videos, I am entertained. I am entertained. But at the same time, I don't know if I should laugh or call the police. No, look, look at this. I am positive this is assault. No, look on this. Yella get wave round like mosquito swatter. Yella get bucket on her head. Yella get beaten with them wig. Yella get beaten with them own foot. No man, people in the dance hall who know fit do better. Mark my words, who know watch what is going to happen. Watch what will happen. Soon it will move from the level here to a level where if someone is dislocated or someone is broke after you finish dance with a girl, you never dance with her. Just like how when they have 5k runs, 10k runs, they always have an ambulance nearby. I saw them have to start station ambulance outside of dance hall parties. If a girl now left the party with a bullet wound in her ankle, you never dance with her. If when she reach home she not in her chaos, you never dance with her. Zin? Yo, Mr. Last Night, man. Get Keisha some bubblings in a bad man. Eh? So I want to her when you done? What do you mean I want to her when you done? Nothing I want to her. She give me her number and she gone home, everything good. So you never like ring out the ankle or something? Why me I ring out her ankle? Man? Dance me dance to her. Bad man, I want to you dance. When I dance with the girl, them, some of the girl them for broke off and pop off. Girl me for dislocated. I want to you dance with girl shoulder bone for out of place. Broke a rib or something bad man. Dad, you said girl hit for broke when you dance with girl, man. You take up girl, throw up girl in her ear, kick with girl like football. I want to you, dad. I say you dance with the girl then. Yo, we can't talk to you, man. You we can't leave with you. Hopefully, the people when I dance all you know, cut the madness before somebody lose them life unnecessarily. Dancing is supposed to be fun, not dangerous to one's health. 
Oh, and before I go, I want to say a big thank you to the people um, over there at Happy Socks. I'm gonna put all their links in the description so you can check them out and you can buy a couple socks. All of the socks them with them have they're crazy. Walking in these socks feels like you're walking in heaven. Like look, look they, they, this is what they on the inside of the socks. They are so soft and squishy. So check them out. Happy socks. Just some real fun patterns for the people them who want like some different type of garments. And them also have underpants. Crazy. Them send me a, a, a under, I'm gonna put on this as my beard. So go check them out. I'll put them link in the description. Go follow them on Instagram. Make them know say yo. You see the socks for Kevin too crazy a beat and you want to buy a pair too. So go support them because they must support your boy. You see me? Happy socks, big up on yourself. <laughs>